She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad to feature Alright guys, so the first thing that I like to do is I will brush out all of my hair and this just helps with my extensions especially because when I'm out of the shower I don't want to have to rip through them when it's wet because they're way more susceptible to breakage when you brush through wet hair. I always use a wet brush even when I am brushing out dry hair. It just helps prevent breakage and it's just gentle on your hair so that's what I prefer to use. And then once I've wet my hair in the shower. For my shampoo, I've been using Kevin Murphy Repair Me Wash. This stuff is seriously gold in the bottle. I'm telling you guys, if you're looking for a new shampoo, this is bomb. <laughs> it helps damage dry hair. It helps with overprocessed blondies. If you're out there, you need this. So going in, I'm focusing just on my natural hair at this point. And then once I scrub that all into my scalp and everything, I will pick up the Brazilian Bond Builder and use the color care shampoo and i will lather it into all of my extensions the other shampoo the b3 shampoo helps with the longevity of my extensions and it's just it was made for extensions and color care so that's why i like to use it on my extensions and then this part is super super important you guys if you have sewn extensions you really want to make sure that you're separating each row and cleanse in between each one of them so depending on how grown out they are, you'll have to use one or two fingers and get in between the wefts and just scrub so it's nice and cleansed. Once all of that is rinsed out, I take the Moroccan Oil Restorative Mask and I put it mainly on the ends of my hair because no one likes greasy hair. If you didn't know this, you only want to put conditioner from your ponytail down. So if you're holding your hair up in a ponytail, you would do the bottom portion. You wouldn't touch the top portion at all. So for my conditioners, I actually am using two. I know it's a little extra, but I'm using the same Repair Me line and I'm using the rinse for my natural ends. And then I'll use the B3 conditioner on my extensions ends. So I know that can be kind of complicated, but that's just how I like to do it. And then once I'm out of the shower and my hair is towel dried, I will put all of my leave-ins in. The first one that I like to use is Untangled by Kevin Murphy. It helps with detangling my hair and it acts as a heat protectant as well. And it just makes for easier brushing. So that's my first one. And then I will go in with the Brazilian Bond Builder Ionic Color Lock. This product is amazing for extensions. It helps seal damaged hair. It helps the longevity of my extensions. And it's just amazing and then i'll be taking my plumping product this one is called body mass and it's a treatment it's by kevin murphy and this helps with thickness and fullness for your hair i'll spritz a few pumps onto my scalp and massage it in and this just gives you body it gives you fullness and over time it will help your hair grow so once i brush it all in i will let it dry for about 50 percent or more i like to let it air dry because it's a lot healthier on your hair. You don't need a ton of heat on it. I just got done with my makeup. As you can see, I look like a new human and I will just blow it dry. I like to use my wet brush to brush it out as I'm drying it. And I will also use a round brush to kind of smooth it out a little bit more too. Drying your extensions is really important. If you don't dry your extensions at least a little bit towards the ends, it will make them frizzy and you just you kind of have to style your extensions in order for them to cooperate at least that's what i've learned so yeah i hope this routine helped you guys especially for those of you who needed a hair care routine for extensions being sewn in i know it can get really overwhelming and you don't know what to use or what to do so hopefully you guys are enjoying this and i'm helping you in some way and I am going to stop rambling and let you watch the remainder of the video, but I'll see you guys at the end.
that is the end of my hair care routine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up for me. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe down below, click the red button, and hit that bell to be notified when I upload. I will be doing a lot more videos, so stay tuned for those. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.